in the days that we're living in, that you see sickness, that you see plagues and disease, that you see the West Nile virus, the, the influenza, or cold, that there is a cure. There is a cure of all cures. There is a cure that can cure anything that, that you're troubled with. If you're troubled with depression, there's a cure for it. If you're troubled with alcohol, alcohol, there's a cure for it, and that is God. That is Jesus Christ. I come to bring news to you that God is about to deliver you from what you're troubled with today. And the only way that God is going to do that is by setting you free from your sins. There are three ways that God will set you free from your sins and cure you from your diseases. The first way that God is going to cure you from your diseases is by determination. You have to have determination to, to go and get the cure. You have to have determination to persevere. You have to have determination when you are sick that God will heal you. You have to persevere like the woman with the issue of the blood. You have to go when people tell you that you can't be cured. You have to, you have to go the extra mile. In order, in order for you to be healed, you have to, you have to have a determination. You have to have a faith. And you have to, you have to be like the friends of the paralytic and just go. Even when things are rough, even when things are don't look good, you have to just rely on God and trust in God that you will be healed. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. You see, the paralytic was searching all over, but they couldn't find a cure. They couldn't find someone that could heal their friend. But they heard of Jesus. They heard of the cure. They heard of Jesus curing the, the leper, the sick. They heard of Jesus curing the dead. And you just had to go in order for you to be cured. You just had to walk in faith in order for you to be cured. Hallelujah. I come to tell you that that even when things are looking bad, even when 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 you have doubts in your head, yeah. you just had to rely on God. Yeah. You just had to Remember what God told you, mm -hmm. that yes. you will be cured. You have to be determined to be cured. Number two is that you have to be, be eternally healed in order for you to be cured physically. You see, the, the Pharisees didn't know that that your sins had to be forgiven. They didn't know that in order for you to be healed, God has to forgive your sins. God has to, to heal you innerly. You see, sometimes we get sick because of our sins. Our, our sins is the pathway to our sickness. And in order for you to be healed, you have to be healed through innerly first. I believe that if you just if you just ask God for forgiveness first, yes, that God will heal you. Yes. I believe that if you just come to God and tell God, God forgive me my sins. Yes. Forgive me for what I've done. 
he will heal you. But you have to tell God that to forgive you of your sins. You see, the Pharisees didn't know that. The Pharisees thought that in order for in order for you to be healed, you have to re repent. You have to do certain things. And that's why they told Jesus that he was speaking blasphemy because they didn't know that Jesus could forgive sins. Amen. Right, right, right. But that's why Jesus came into the world. Amen. Jesus came into the world to cure you of your sins. Mm -hmm. right, Amen. Right, right. Thank you, Jesus. All you have to do is just remember that Jesus was was kneeling on the cross. He was kneeling on Calvary cross for your sins oh, yes, you to cure you. You see, God saw that you were you were sick. He saw that from the beginning of the times. And he sent his own begotten son right. to cure you of your sickness. That's right. He saw you from where you was sitting today. Hallelujah. He saw that you had addictions. He saw that you were troubled with depression. He wow. saw that you were going to kill yourself. But he saw all of that and he went from the end to the beginning right. yeah. to Calvary right. and he nailed it down on the cross. That's right, that's right. You that's see, right. Yeah. You, see know, you don't right. have to have medical or insurance to be cured. It was paid fully in the blood. Yeah. Yeah. It was paid by Jesus right. when he died. So, number two, you have to be healed internally. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Before you can he be healed physically. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Number three is that you have to know that God has the authority to heal you, to cure you of your sickness. Yeah. You have to rely and know that God is the great I am cure. Yes, he is. He's so great that he can cure you of your sickness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why he, they call him the, the, the great I am. Yes. Hallelujah. That's why they call him Emmanuel. That's why they call him Jehovah Jireh, because he can provide a cure for you. Yeah. I come to tell you that you just have to rely on God. You just have to know in your heart that God will cure you of your sickness. That that God will will do a breakthrough today for you. That God will go the extra mile. He already went the extra mile. Mm -hmm. He was beaten. Mm -hmm. yes. He was he was laughed at. Mm -hmm. He he was denied three times. Right. Yes. And he did all of that for you. He did all of that for us. He did all of that so we can have eternal life. That's right. Mm -hmm. He did all of that so we don't have to 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 trouble with sickness anymore. Mm -hmm. Just know that God is a God of grace. Yes. 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 Know that if you if you're if you're troubled with depression, know that if you're if you sin, that God has a cure for that, and that is grace. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to be long today. Uh, I thought that I was going to preach. I thought I was going to hoop, but God had different plans. He just wanted me to come and talk to you about his grace, about his cure. And that is Jesus Christ. I want to tell you today of when I first 
got the cure. When I, when I remember when I first got access to the cure, it was three years ago. It was on March 12, 2008. I had the papers to show that, that I got the cure on that day. You see, on March 12, 2008, I had a nervous breakdown. I went crazy. They called it psychosis. They label it psychosis. They told me that that I needed medication. They told me that 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 I was going through my mind. People labeled me because of my sickness. At that time, in that moment, I was telling people that I'm going crazy. I'm about to die. I was telling people that I was hearing voices, voices was, that was telling me to give up, voices that was telling me to throw in the towel. You will never be healed. There's no way in world, in this world, that you will be healed. There's no way in this world that, that there is a cure. But I come to tell you that there is a cure. Yes. And that is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yes. You see, right. at that moment, I didn't know Jesus. I didn't know that there was a cure for my disease. Mm -hmm. I was just given medication after medication. I was given Cymbalta for depression. I was given Benadryl to sleep because I couldn't sleep because I was so nervous that I was gonna die. I, I was so nervous that it was over for me. You see, at the time and the, at that moment, I was having seizures. I was going crazy. I was telling people, help me, help me, help me, help me. But there wasn't no help. But one night, I heard about the cure. I heard about Jesus, and I heard about when Jesus healed the sick. I heard about when Jesus rose the dead, and I was like, whoa, it's amazing. But the voice in my head was telling me, it's over. I went back to my room that night in the psychiatric ward, and I began to ponder, is it over? Is it over for me? Am I'm about to die? Am I, am I going to go crazy for the rest of my life? And I remember what I heard about Jesus. I remember how Jesus cured the sick. Yeah. And I began to got, I got on my knees that night. I got on my knees and I said, God, if you're real, come into my life. Yeah. If you're real, cure me of my sickness. Mm -hmm. And when I got on my knees, there was a peace. There yeah. was yeah. An amazing joy. Mm -hmm. I felt like worshiping. You know, I thought that I was going crazy, but now after I got in that peace, mm -hmm. I've I began to wanted to go crazy for, for this cure. I began wanting to shout and worship like a madman. Yes. You know, I thank God that God he cured me. Thank God. You see, this was the medication that I had to take. I had to take this medication to be healed. The doctors told me that this was the only way but I come to tell you that Jesus is the way and the truth and the light. Yes. Yes. He is the cure. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. This Thank was you. the report yes. that the doctors told me. Yes. Hallelujah. But I come to tell you that there is another report. That's yes. right. That's yes. right. There is a report yes. from yes. the physician.
kings of tradition. Yeah. There is a report from the kings of kings. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And that right. report is that you are healed. Yes. You are healed because mm -hmm. he loves you. You are healed because God is a God Hallelujah. of grace. Thank yes, you, Jesus. Lord. Yes. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I could go Hallelujah. now and I could sow this away. Thank you, Jesus. Because I don't need this no more. And I have God in my life. Oh, yes. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I just come to tell you that. Oh, yes. There wow. is a cure in the world. Hallelujah, yes. Jesus. I come to tell you, whoever is troubled with depression, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. whoever is on medication, Thank you, that Jesus. God is the way to be healed. Mm -hmm. 